start into this game as I think it's going to depend on how both of these offensive play against each defense. And each offense is different because the Razorbacks have been more efficient with quarterback play, and the Vols really haven't been that way. Like the Razorback offense, who's been not that good this year, but hasn't been playing good against Grizzly, is going to face this Tennessee defense. And another guy on this Tennessee defense I would say to watch out for is defensive back Trayvon Flowers. He has 35 total tackles with two pass deflections. And also Bryce Thompson with 19 total tackles. Definitely watch out for all those guys. But injury report for this game. Arkansas had no in-game injuries on Saturday's loss. Gerald play on a limited reps, so it should be interesting to see how he does. And defensive back Malik Chavis did not play due to an undisclosed injury that he's been dealing with. Tennessee, though, has not dealt with any injuries, but they have redesigned a couple things on defense. They are moving more towards a 4-4, which is what Jeremy Pruitt likes better. And they were all also repping more quarterbacks over the bye. And because of the bye week, they are relatively healthy. Vegas opened Tennessee up as a three-point favorite. The line has now moved to one and a half points. And this is just a reminder that Arkansas is 7-0 against the spread since Chad Morris was fired. 5-0 this season. I think this Razorback team has definitely upset a lot of teams in the spread as they weren't even supposed to cover against A&M, but they came back and played pretty good in the fourth quarter, even though they ended up losing that game. And I don't know what Vegas is doing here because personally, I don't think this game will be decided by like one and a half points. I think it's literally going to be a one point game. I think if either of these teams win, it's going to be a situation where like the other team is just going to barely, barely win. So I think one and a half towards Tennessee is a little too generous. I don't know. I just don't think it makes sense, though, as you are losing so much money because of Arkansas. But anyway, the over and under for this game is 52 and a half. I would expect it to be right around there. And ESPN's FPI gives Arkansas a 52.8% chance at winning. I'll be back with the history of these two teams playing against each other and my personal prediction for this game right after this quick break. Arkansas and Tennessee have played 18 times. Arkansas is 5-13 and 13 as Tennessee has played pretty well in the 90s. They dominated all those games. But in the last two matchups in 2011 and 2015, Arkansas won both of those. And I just don't think anything really matters here. There's no real history between both of these teams because they aren't rivals. They are just are both in the SEC. They both play each other. And there's not really much to this game except for Tennessee's looking to get back after a three-game losing streak. And Arkansas is looking to get back after a loss versus Texas A&M. Nothing really at stake for this game at all as there's two more trophy games left on the year for Arkansas, LSU, and Mizzou. So I'm sure those are going to be big games where I'll talk a lot more about history for those, but nothing for this one. But for my prediction, the Arkansas Razorbacks are going to win a nail-biter. I think Jared Caratano is going to get the good Razorback defense that we've been seeing all season. I think he's going to throw a pick or two, and I think that's going to create momentum for the Razorbacks, which will make it easier for them. I also think it's an easier game because Arkansas is going to be at home. Texas A&M was such a loud environment and didn't help at all. I also think it's going to be a bit louder at home for the Razorbacks because more people who go to the games are more excited because we're winning, we're not actually losing. Like against Ole Miss, that stadium got pretty loud for only 25% capacity, which was really awesome. And then I think Arkansas offense also continues their efficiency. I think, though, they're going to have to play a better third down if they want to win this game. I think Franks goes for 250-plus yards. I think Rakeem goes for 75-plus yards. And I think if he gets, like, one breakout run, he'll break 100 We'll see Franks probably get around 50 rushing yards as well. However, I think this is a defensive game. Not defensive-minded, but defense is going to come into play as it's not going to be a shootout. It's not going to be a low-scoring game. Whichever defense really plays better, I think is going to win this game. If we see Razorbacks defense versus Texas A&M, Tennessee's probably going to win. But if we see Tennessee's defense against Alabama and Georgia, Arkansas is going to win. So I think it's important to see how both of these defensive plays, but I got the Hogs winning this one 28-27. I got a very, very close game. I think all Arkansas fans will be on the edge of their seat throughout this game. 
Oh, and I also want to say that I think Jeremy Pruitt's hot seat is going to get a lot worse if the Razorbacks win this. I don't think volunteer fans are that happy with him now, and I'm sure after they lose to a team that was predicted to go 0-10, they won't be that happy. But anyway, next episode is going to be Thursday. It's going to be a recap of all of those other SEC sports. I've been getting episodes out a ton this week. There's going to be one on Friday with a mid-season grades. We're going 4-4 for four on the later part of this week, so stay tuned for all that. But that is all for today's episode. If you like what you're hearing, please check out all my social medias and always to listen at allhogsports.com. Instagram and Twitter are at allhogsportspod. And as always, don't forget, whoop pig! That's all for today's episode of All Hog Sports with Sam Stimson. Make sure to stay tuned for the next episode covering all Arkansas Razorback sports. If you enjoyed today's episode, please subscribe and leave a five-star review on Apple Podcasts. Follow us on social media, too. On Twitter and Instagram at All Hog Sports Pod. Like on Facebook at All Hog Sports and Arkansas Razorbacks Podcast. And on YouTube at that same name. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode. Go Hogs!